Good afternoon guys and or morning. Good morning guys and happy Sunday to all of your sunshiny faces. I've got a Jewel Osco haul to share with you guys for today. However, I misplaced my, my uh, receipt. So I have the digital one thankfully, but I have absolutely no clue. Checking my pockets. <laughs> no clue where I put it. Um, I know I brought it in. I had the receipts from, we went to Menards, Aldi, and Jewel. I had all those and then I have no clue though. I set the Jewel one out because I was like, I need this share with you guys the price of everything. I <laughs> have no clue where it went. So um, anyways though I will share with you guys that hopefully it has everything listed properly on the digital receipts um, off my phone. So um, yes I think so and it says my savings and everything like that. Um, so yeah I'll share that with you guys um, but I have to calculate the difference in what the actual total was because um, it says savings and then what we the change we got back so like I said maybe I'll just do that real quick but I'll share it with you guys anyway from Jewel what we ended up paying and spent and saved and all that stuff and all the deals that are going on for today so from my digital receipt it says that the total for all these items would have been ninety three dollars and thirty cents that includes a giant thing of popcorn and all the other stuff over here on the table we ended up spending forty dollars and sixty nine cents and saved um, fifty two dollars and sixty one cents we also that not including tax we paid 209 for tax um which makes sense i think we paid about 50 for 42 dollars after tax so um anyways <laughs> that was all really good deals we had over 50 percent savings on these items um and a handful of them were they didn't really have too much going on at jewel this week and again too they weren't even some of the best deals like with the brownberry bread that was on sale for 2.99 when you bought two with the just for you coupon you had to buy two to get them at that price now normally they're two for 49 when I get sales on these a lot of times and at Tony's they were this week as well so we picked up a couple loaves over there and then we picked up these as well but like I was saying they these were 50 cents more than what Tony's was and what you will typically a lot of times will have the sales on so I was like should I get them or should I not and I was like well you know what I'll get these just because my dad picked up I think a lot of the like um, whole wheat and like the grain like multi-grain bread stuff like that so we got the buttermilk and the white bread we can also do these for grilled cheese sandwiches for lunches which is really awesome and again too there's are not too expensive because they normally retail at five dollars and 29 cents so I paid a little bit over what one of them would have cost for both of them which I still think is a pretty good price then on top of that too they also had the Febreze fabric spray um, this was on sale for $4.49 and there was a $3 off coupon so that made it just $1.49 again I'm not sure if this is available for everybody but I bought these in the past so that could be why but with the sale and the coupon that's a really good price so I went ahead and picked that up and then on top of that too they also had the um rice aroni and also pasta pasta aroni um was on sale for 79 cents with a just for you coupon it was a limit of 10 you do not have to buy 10 you can buy as many or as few as you want just no more than 10 um and they're only 79 cents so that's a really good deal we got a bunch of different varieties um so that again we can do those like a side dish for dinner and stuff like that i like to have those too like if we do we have a lot of like spanish rice right now but um to do for like again if we're doing like tacos or we're doing um you know again whatever it is sometimes just like with pork um like like we're doing like pork chops or pork loin which i'm going to do once this week so that's really good to have so like i said those were only 79 cents each which is a really good deal then they also had the um the snapples those were kind of the same thing they were 89 cents each they were a limit of 10 with the just for you coupon um and again you have to have them clip that coupon but they're only 89 cents and again a limit of 10 again you can buy as few or as many up to 10 as you want um but again we went ahead and stocked up because jack actually said he really really likes this watermelon lemonade kind i tried it thought it was super gross i did not like it <laughs> um but i do like the half and half kind but i have a bunch of arnold palmers and also like the um the peace tea so i didn't get very many of those but i know jack loves these watermelon lemonade kind so for 89 cents again too that was a pretty good deal we went ahead and picked those up and then also too they had again this week these big 20 ounce body armor sports drinks are only uh 5.99 for a six pack which is about a dollar per pack and again too these are bigger than their smaller size like the individual size ones are smaller i think they're like 16 ounces or something like that so a little bit bigger 20 ounces for a six pack only a 
dollar each is a good deal. So I went ahead and picked that up. So then the other thing we ended up picking up with this Valley Pop um, popcorn, it is um, $3.49 with the Just Free coupon. Now that and then also to the Cheetos were also included like so it was um, you could clip one coupon and redeem it for both the Valley Pop popcorn and then also to the Cheetos. However, the um, the Cheetos for $3.49 is not really a good price. <laughs> we see that just regular price. I mean like so, somewhat of a sale off but I mean you'll find that at a lot of stores so I really didn't think that was a good deal so I didn't end up picking that up but I did pick up the popcorn because that retails at almost ten dollars it's nine forty nine at Jewel but for only three forty nine I thought that was a pretty good deal for a full pound of popcorn which because popcorn's so light um, a full pound is a big bag <laughs> so that was a good deal and then they also had the um, the produce, um, they had a couple of couponing deals as well. They had strawberries were 99 cents. They were a limit of two with the Just For You coupon. And then also the Dutch, um, a baby Dutch yellow um, potatoes. Those are a 24 ounce bag for a dollar and 49 cents. They are a limit of two. Um, so we picked up two of those. And then this one might have been personalized to my account. I'm not sure if everybody would have the same coupon in their accounts, but the Earthbound Farms Greenhouse um, like uh, salads or lettuce um, they are three dollars on sale but there was a dollar off coupon making them just two dollars I thought that, that was a pretty good price and I use these a lot of times for salads normally I picked up the smaller one at Ju uh, at Walmart I think is uh, $3.49 or something like that. So this was actually cheaper than that. So I thought it was a pretty good price. Um, and that was everything, I guess. I just <laughs> realized we went through everything that was on the table. So the only thing though that I did not get that they were out of, and they weren't out of, but they didn't have the kind I wanted, was the Lipton um, teas. The, I think it was the six pack or the eight pack. Uh, or maybe it was 12 pack. I don't even remember. Um, but they were on sale for um, $4.99 um, with the Just For You coupon. It was a limit of one. However, I love the raspberry kind and that is like the only kind that I would drink. Um, they had like regular like iced tea, green tea, I think like tea with lemon in it, stuff like that. It was mainly kind of just the generic sort of ones like they didn't have like the flavored ones they were either out of them or they didn't even have a spot though that I saw for the raspberry kind um, and that's like I said the only kind of Lipton tea that I like so I was the only kind I was going to get um, so we didn't end up picking that up so anyways um, like I said that was the only thing that they were like I guess sort of out of but they didn't have a spot for it and then like I said too they didn't have really any other kind and again I wasn't going to take the kinds that they did have because those weren't kinds that I like so um, we didn't end up picking that up but that was the only thing that was on my list that I was planning on getting that we didn't end up getting so anyways um, like I said I thought I'd just share that with you guys I thought it was overall pretty good deals for only 42 bucks for all this we got a ton of a uh, ton more drinks as well like it's like for some reason right now is the season to stock up in like drinks and stuff like that like sports drinks and these snapples we've gotten a deal on a couple times I've gotten deals on a lot of the stuff I like as well um so again those were you know like I said pretty pretty good deals overall at Jewel for this week nothing was insanely amazing but all stuff that we were kind of you know will use and things like that as well so um anyways again like I said I thought I'd just share that with you guys my Jewel haul for today and um like I said I'm gonna get this stuff all picked up and put away well guys i'm gonna take a shower now and get to bed um we were able to we got a little bit more um like electrical work done upstairs my dad has for the most part um in his like office slash closet space upstairs um and almost the one whole interior wall it's like not the interior wall but it's between the dormer and out finished room upstairs in the attic um the insulation between like those walls so it's not the exterior walls but they're not the interior walls of the room that's going to be finished if that makes sense so it's like between the room that we're finishing and the attic um so most of that is actually done um for the like I said for the most part and the cool thing was is that actually most of the insulation that was in our attic anyway um so we had a bunch of rolls of insulation and I I'm thinking about this I kind of wondered why like or what happened <laughs> um so i think maybe possibly potentially um the the type of insulation that was left in the attic was more of the like interior um like insulation um i think it's the 
thinner insulation or not thinner but I, I think it might be maybe I'm not entirely sure but it's the I think the craft face which is more like the it's like the paper bag like brown paper bag kind of material um whereas I think in my dad was asking somebody you don't necessarily have to do it that way um but the um like foil faced insulation is what you're kind of supposed to use for more of the exterior walls because of the vapor barrier um and so whereas the craft face is more for like those kind of like the interior walls like i said that's more between like the attic and the the finished room that we're doing so what i'm thinking is maybe because that was across like the ceilings and stuff like that so i was trying to figure out why they had all this insulation that was like just left over they didn't end up using um and i'm wondering if it was because they bought more than what they needed for the interior walls or uh, and on top of that too the exterior walls um in one of the spots upstairs actually the two by fours instead of it being like the four inches that stick out it's actually the two inches so it's like instead of being like a two by four that runs you know like it's obviously four inches on one side two inches on the other side they flipped it um, and that's the old part of the house. So like the original like house, not the um, the finished um, like, what's it called? It's the dormered part. Um, so the way they did it was like I said, instead of normally again, your two by fours are like stick out four inches from like the exterior wall. Um, these are sticking out only two inches. So the um, insulation that you have to get is thinner because of that. And so they had thinner insulation though on the exterior walls on that part. So like I said, what I'm thinking is maybe also too, they were thinking they needed more for like that wall and they didn't. And that's why we had multiple rolls of leftover insulation when we bought the house that was just left in the attic. Um, and then they, but they ended up using some of the craft face. So like the brown paper bag sort of material um, for the attic like um insulation whereas again too you kind of maybe supposed to use more of that foil faced um but like i said i don't really know <laughs> nothing makes sense and i'm almost wondering too if potentially that um the foil face was actually stuff that was like left over from like the original like house like when they did but i don't think so because it was in between some of the boards that were like done for the new um like when the 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 finish was like done but the other thing too is that we know, at least we were told by a neighbor, that before we bought the house, shortly before we bought the house, they ended up replacing all the drywall upstairs which was not done very well, which is why we had to replace, we're, we're having to replace it again. Um, and we think possibly too, there might've been water damage on, especially the window that they didn't finish properly. Now we found out when we took everything down, there was more water damage there. Um, and they didn't, like I said, install the window correctly and it's been leaking over the years. So, um, like I said, we didn't even know about that really, but, um, anyways it's a whole nother story for a whole nother time um but like that we know from one of the neighbors that they ended up doing that like prior to them selling the house and so i'm wondering though if like some of the stuff that was up there was maybe from when they did the expansion upstairs but not when the previous owners to us ended up just replacing the drywall they might have taken the stuff down and then do, done some new insulation but not all of it because there's like two different kinds of insulation up there that like i said it's the foil face and the other stuff but the weird thing is is that i think where they ended up needing to replace it was where they put the craft face and not the foil face so um again i'm not <laughs> entirely sure and i think what they were then doing was then just started throwing some of the stuff up in the attic but they never finished it so there was only like part of it done and i think that they also might have taken some of it down because they also had the roof replaced right before we bought the house because we think there was a leak and the reason we know that there most likely was a leak was because the um flat roof which is where the ex the um like expansion or you know the finished part of the upstairs is now um the part that they dormered out um they never replaced that they said they did they never did and it ended up leaking as well so um we have that now that like all the roofing is done as well that's another reason why we have to fix some of the water damage that was caused from again them not like the other thing too is that they didn't do the roof properly when they replaced it we had to replace it like shortly after that as well but that's why with the flat roof they, it was never replaced and so we did end up suffering some water damage from that so that was another reason too why some of the insulation or the 
uh, what's it called, the drywall we knew were, was going to come down anyway, but we also wanted to build the room upstairs, like my mom's office, and kind of finish off some of the other, like, space upstairs in addition to that, so anyways, um, <laughs> forgot where I was going all, with all this, but we did end up getting some of the work done upstairs, it's just, we have, like I said, the leftover insulation that they just didn't end up using was the what we ended up using then to replace <laughs> now all of these years later, like 20 years later, um, because it's literally the exact same stuff that you buy at Menards today and there's really there's nothing wrong with it um it's not like at first I was like oh it doesn't look like it looks because it's been in bundles for <laughs> like I said like 20 years but um when you unroll it it just pops back up and it's like the insulation that was on the wall prior to that so um there's that and that will probably get us done with all of the interior walls we don't even need to buy that but we have to buy the exterior the foil face stuff um which isn't going to be super cheap but it's not going to be super super expensive either um so again a few hundred dollars probably in total for all the insulation that we're going to need for upstairs but again too we we're able to reuse some of the stuff that was just taking up space in the attic um that we weren't using anyway and we really didn't have a use for either so that's pretty cool um but like i said my dad got a a lot of that done today and then there was also a handful of things too that we had to do with the electric which I will tell you guys and maybe show you guys in tomorrow's vlog what the electric issue we were having yesterday we figured it out um which was really awesome it was actually better than what we kind of had hoped for once we finally figured it out it was a I guess a better thing but now because of that we we're like let's do this thing because so far that's how this project is gone as soon as we find something out we're like let's do this like originally we weren't even going to actually add the room upstairs with the finished walls and everything but then we we're like let's do that let's do this like let's add we ended up expanding my dad's office slash uh closet area like <laughs> now we're doing this special electric thing like we just added so much more like mid project and again <laughs> too it's nice though because a a lot of times people do remodels and things like that it tends to be um like you know like uh, some type of un unknown I guess um expense comes up because there's some problem that has to be fixed it's just been things that we've been like let's do this let's do that like it's just you know like <laughs> we're just adding and making more work for ourselves really um on purpose because we just want it to be as you know like I guess not as perfect as possible but if we're gonna do the work we might as well do all of it right now like there's no point in being like well maybe later we'll expand this out or maybe later we'll run this other electrical stuff around here it's like let's just do it now well there's no walls up where there's you know there's no insulation or partial insulation is up and you know that kind of stuff so that's kind of one of the things that um we <laughs> like i said if keep keep making work more work for ourselves with this whole project but um like I said it'll be really nice once it's all done and we're getting very close to it being done hopefully my my ideal goal would be the end of summer would be amazing but um I was kind of hoping for before summer it to be done but um like I said it would be really nice if we can get most of it at least done before um the end of summer would be again a good I think timeline because again we're kind of almost to the point where there's not much that we can do we kind of have to wait to try and find a drywall but again maybe I'll share with you guys more in tomorrow's vlog and actually take you guys around and show you guys what we've been up to upstairs not too much has changed really since like kind of the last time other than some of the insulation but anyways I will show you guys that probably in tomorrow's vlog but if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see y'all in Jenny faces tomorrow so bye guys